What is up, everybody? Let's get into this. It's Friday. up everybody and welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Guys, today is Friday. Friday, the 14th of January, guys. 14th of January. Full crew at the shop today. I do not expect it to be busy today, guys. I don't know why I have this bad feeling. Um, For one, is it because of the appointments. I don't have too many appointments today. Um... Actually, my boys have more appointments than me today. I'm really, really proud of them. They've been working on trying to get more clients and trying to get more people in there. And um, it seems to be working, guys, because uh, those guys have been getting more booked. Um, I don't know if it's because of their new business cards that I got them with a QR code on there. And um, hopefully they've been passing those out um, and handing them out to clients. And I, I tell them to hand out two, three extra cards, you know? When they hand out a client, give them two, give them two extra ones and tell me, hey, I could have, I, I could really appreciate if you guys, have, you know, send me over some clients, you know, send over a friend, a family member, you know, somebody in your family, a friend that you might think that needs a, 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 a haircut, you know, shoot them my way, you know? That always helps, guys. It's all about promoting yourself and getting people inside of your shop, in, inside of your chair. So, why do I think it's not going to be busy today? It's such a beautiful day out here. Like, damn, I can't even, you know, but I, I, I can tell by the schedule, guys, by the scheduling. I can tell by the time of the year it is because it is, you know, the, uh, the first week of, uh, uh, second week of January. And uh, customarily, January has always been relatively slow, you know, so... I don't know. I don't expect it to be too busy today. We'll see. I'm going to go anyway and uh, hang out right there. I, I got some things I got to do. I got to do my towels. I got to, I'm going to uh, uh, clean up my bobbleheads today. I'm going to try to dust them off and get them all nice and cleaned up. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what this day brings us, guys. Uh, but you still definitely have to show up every single day, guys. Uh, every single day. So I'm headed to the shop. Get started on this day. Let's see what this day brings us. So it's been pretty dead at the barber shop. Um, so I'm going to head over to LA, which is downtown LA from right here. We're about 25 minutes from downtown LA. So I'm going to go buy some supplies that I need for the shop and, uh, go take care of that. You know, might as well. There's nothing going on here. I don't have no appointments till one o'clock. So I'm just going to clear out my schedule right now and make sure nobody books me. And I'm going to take off, go down there and handle this business. I'm going to take you guys with me. Take you guys for the little scenic route right here, all right, guys? Just got here to LA right now, guys. This is a place is a trip. So, in case you guys are wondering what kind of supplies I came to get, um, usually at my barber shop I have this big old toy cabinet where I buy these little boxes of toys. It cost me six dollars for a dozen, usually it's fifty cents a piece, and um, I give them to the kids. Just give them one kid, you know. Usually, you got you guys. You'd be surprised how I went over a haircut by just. Give you a haircut out to give you a little toy to a little kid, you know. It makes them want to come back next time. So it keeps them in good spirits and you know, and you just you know it, it, trust me, all these toys I'm gonna get right now is gonna cost me less than 70 bucks probably. But I'll buy enough to have my cabinet full to when the kids come in, they will be like, ooh. And then next time they need to be thinking about haircuts, guess what they're gonna be thinking about? Thinking about big owls. But I'm gonna show you guys. But this place is a trip right here, guys. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna walk through here right now. Turn you guys around. This is a corner of Los Angeles and Winston, in case you guys are wondering, or any of you guys are here from LA. I need to buy some face masks too. Just this pandemic is not over. Yeah, 
Face mask of every kind. Yeah, of is My brother's a cowboy fan. And he hates it. Look at all this stuff, guys. It's crazy. Cloth mask? I don't like cloth masks. Every team, every sport. These are the ones I like. This is right here in the heart of LA, guys. Oh, hell no. Go all the way around that. Crap kills, you know? Nobody told him. Ooh, look at the guys. This is the kind of stuff right here. Alright guys, I'm almost home right now from downtown, but you know, I'm just kind of driving in through the 210 freeway right here and uh, I wanted to show you guys, this is home right here for me, Azusa, Azusa is where I grew up on, it's where I live at, it's where my shop is, but these right here are considered the Foothill Mountains, uh, the entrance between, you see, I don't know if you can see it right there, but between those two canyons, that's Azusa Canyon right there. So these are the, the mounds that we grew up with right here. Let's, let me see, let's see, right there. Let's see if I can pull it up for you guys. See that? Badass, huh? It's beautiful right here. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else, guys. Come back from the barbershop in the store, and this is what you want the shop to look like. Everybody's working. Time for me to get to work. All right, back at work. Second cut of the day. <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's been. We'll find out Saturday. Or Sunday. I still got my money on the e on, on the bucks, so. Yeah, me too. I'm not gonna beat the Eagles. The Eagles no, are gonna beat them. Negative. The Eagles better come up with the best game of the year. Are you worried about your game or the fucking Cowboys game? Don't worry about the Raiders. The Raiders are gonna handle business. Need you guys to win. I don't care if it's ugly. I don't care if it's fucking huge. Cause you guys to win. You just have you just have your Rams fucking cover, all right, dude. I put my money on the Rams too, dude. So.
I took my nephew to uh, to Universal for uh, for Christmas, uh -huh. and uh, before we left, we took we, we got Chick Fil A, and he never had the I guess he never had the chicken nuggets from Chick Fil A, and I bought it for him, and he was like, Raul, these are the best nuggets ever. I am never going back to McDonald's. <laughs> I do I do eat chicken nuggets every day if you let him. Yeah. He'll eat, he'll eat a, if you let him, he'll eat a burger and a, a, a happy meal every single day, dude. What's up, brother? So Lauren would be out for the movies, that for sure, huh? I can't, I can't take her to go see Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, she'll probably sit there and like watch scene, scene two. Like, she'll probably sit there and like, Me and Lisa, me and Lisa were talking about the other day when we were at the movies about the time when we took Bella and Bella ran out of the theater. <laughs> she got scared as soon as we opened the door and it was dark in there. She was like, I'm going in there. She ran out of there screaming, dude. I had to go return the tickets and everything. I'm like, eh. I had, a, I had already bought, I already had already bought our tickets to get in. I had to go return them. The popcorn, I just took it home, but yeah, I had popcorn too, dude. We had already just finished buying the popcorn. We had to leave the theater, it was funny. <laughs> What'd you guys go see? I was mad, I was disappointed, dude. Like, oh, it was gonna be a uh, Indespicable 2. Oh. Or 3, it was, like, it was like part 3. I'm like, yeah, we already watched part 2, like part 1, like a hundred times. I'm like, I wanted, I actually wanted to check it out. I was, I was just, I was kind of pissed, dude. I was like, come on, man, are you serious? Lisa's all relaxed, I'm like. Hey. She's scared of her. What's she scared of? <laughs> Can you take another top? Can you Yeah. I feel, dog. I've been watching all these videos, and everybody's all like, oh, the Raiders are this, Raiders are that, and then at the end they put up and they praise them, and they end up going for fucking two to Larry. That's weak, dog. Little cut raw wolf going on here. Look at that. Super tight fade, guys. Super tight. Yeah. What we do here at Big Al's Barbershop. Tie it all the way around. So these are the, the face masks that I got downtown, guys. Five boxes for 20 bucks. Can't beat that price. Let me show you the, the little toys that I got. I already hung them up over here. See? Eight, uh, what's it, uh, $7 for a dozen of these. The whole pack of them. 
These were the same thing, seven a dozen, seven a dozen. Seven a dozen. Just give them away to the kids. You'd be surprised how that helps to the kids, guys. Just keeping them, uh, keeping them entertained, keep them happy, tell them we're gonna give them a, a, a toy. And, oh my God, it works wonders. Trust me when I say it works wonders. You know, it just kind of, you're trying to pay and buying them off, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. Still works. <laughs> so yeah, they get it. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today. That was the day, guys. I mean, for me. I, overall, it wasn't a bad day for the shop. I mean, the you know how I left and came back, and I kind of just stayed out of the way. The the guys actually had more 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 appointments than I did. I only did three haircuts, so um, that that's all I did. But the rest of the guys, they did pretty good today. They did. They they were all like eight, nine haircuts, nine, ten haircuts. So I just didn't have a lot of appointments, so I just stayed out of the way. Walk-ins, I let them take care of them. I, I kind of just stayed out of the way. I took care of some stuff. Went and got the the stuff from my uh. For my cabinet over here, I got some supplies. So, you know what? Overall, it was a good day today, guys. Good, productive day. Good, productive day. Tomorrow is a different day. Tomorrow is Saturday. So, tomorrow, starting at 6 a.m., uh, you already know, I'm always booked up on Saturday. Saturday, I'm always going to book booked up. I'm booked up all the way to 2 o'clock. And after that, I'm done because the Raider game is going to be on. And you guys already know, guys. Tomorrow is a big day, guys. You got my opinion? Guys, Put your money on the Raiders. Put your money on the Raiders. We are going to surprise the world tomorrow. Five in a row, baby. Watch. Guaranteeing this victory. But, guys, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a better day. Tomorrow, definitely. I'm going to start at 6 o'clock. So, I'm going to go home, rest, relax, and then get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow in the morning, I got my first haircut at 6 o'clock. Uh, See what I put together today. I the, the haircut I'm gonna put. I, I'm gonna post up today. I did that one. You guys have already seen videos. I, I even did a, a tutorial on this haircut. But his haircut always comes out good. You know, I like the way his hair cuts. You know, for some reason, you know how you get that client that you you know just you just hook him up and you already know his haircut's gonna. Clean. I, that's how I feel about this kid. His haircuts. His haircuts is uh, is uh, one of my favorites to do. I'm gonna have to take him to a barber battle one day. I'm gonna have to hit him up. He's a good, because he's a young kid. He's only probably like, probably like 16, 17 years old. So guys like that, they like to go to barber battles like that. So it's fun to take them with you. Take them as a model, you know what I mean? But guys, that's it for today. Another day productive. Not too, you know, not too pretty. I didn't do too much. I only did three haircuts. So I feel refreshed. I feel pretty good. So I'm going to go home, relax, and then tomorrow we'll start it up all again. So with that being said, see you guys mañana. Grind on.